And when I say up there, I mean sci-fi. Sci-fi milkshake, that, that, that's a high level. Good afternoon, everyone. Today is another magical day here at Disney Springs. And David and I, I promise, we were trying to go to homecoming. Didn't realize it, and sure enough, it's closed for a private event. Come on, almost. We almost made it. We're gonna be coming back there. We're gonna prioritize homecoming. We've heard enough amazing things about it at this point from you that we know we've gotta try it. So another night, we'll be back for homecoming. But for now, different dinner around Disney Springs. One spot I was thinking about was Paradiso 37. We're still debating on where exactly we'll go. We are looking around all over, you know, STK is in that direction as well. But Deluxe Burger is one that I've tried and David hasn't. I don't, okay, maybe. All right. Maria and Enzo's is another one that we really, really want to try in the future. A lot of amazing spots here, but we're trying to, trying to find one that we will both love. Now, I'm a little bit confused because I know the other ones are closed for a private event, but how do we get to, to Deluxe? So I just found out from a cast member that this entire area has been booked up for a private event. We can't even go down these stairs. We couldn't even go to Hideaway for en en Enzo's and Maria's Hideaway. We couldn't do it. All of this is closed off for a private event. I didn't even know they did that, but I can see all the way at the end of that bridge over there, that's closed off too. So for us to get to Deluxe Burger, we actually have to go back the way we came or go all the way around. But this is this definitely faster to go back the way we came and then go down and around. So. We're, we're making our way. As a side note, I had no idea that these kind of super large events took place at Disney Springs. I knew they happened at the parks, but Disney Springs, that's a shocker to me. Here at STK, taking a quick look at their menu as well. They have a lot of great looking items here. I haven't tried these either, but Dave and I are still thinking Deluxe Burger is gonna be the one for tonight, but let's look how many options there are. Look how many, wow. I love the fact that some of these restaurants have order and pick up windows. Right over here, there's a window right there where you can order these items, including those tacos, sound really, really good. Or you can sit down inside. David and I are standing out here by Frontera, and David gets to make this decision wherever we're going. David's deciding. But David, you said you're tempted? I'm tempted. Definitely uh, considering the options here. I always love good Mexican food, so we'll have to see. Okay, maybe. Super helpful to have that menu right there on the phone. We can just kind of review what we might want while we're standing outside. Instead of having to go in there and say, you know, can I see your menu and all that, you can just look at it all from your phone between here and Deluxe Burger, which is all the way over there. So David's made a decision. David, what are we doing? We're gonna see how long the wait time is here. You okay. gotta collect all the data in order to make an informed decision. Okay. So we'll see what the wait time looks like and then we'll decide. And if it's longer than... 30 minutes. Okay, 30 minutes, then we won't eat here. Sounds good. All right, that's the plan, let's do it. So wait time is 45 minutes, that's a no, but that means it's popular. It's popular. Aha, uh -huh, so we gotta come back? Someday. Okay, what, what do you mean someday? It said they were only open for the bar, you probably have to make a reservation. <laughs> Maybe, maybe. One of my favorite burger places here at Disney Springs. David's about to try it. Deluxe Burger, and I've been told the Diablo Burger. Ever, I mean, even before I walk up here, El Diablo Burger is one of the best that they have. So that is the one on my mind at the moment. But David, those milkshakes, I'm telling you, it was one of the best milkshakes I've had on Disney property. Maybe we'll split one? Okay. One thing I almost always forget to do is look at the mobile order and pay. It's going to save us a lot of space in line. We're going to look right now, order some food and shake for sure. Definitely getting a shake to split because we're going to be better. Sure enough, mobile ordered our food and we got a few sauces as well. We got that garlic ranch and chipotle mayo and so on and so forth. They're all super delicious. I was just indicated via the app to pick up a pager since we mobile ordered. So got the number. I got to go pick up the pager. Sure enough, it was as easy as going to the counter saying my name and they got me a pager and we put it on the table wait for our food and milkshake to be delivered. For the order today, I got the very special El Diablo Burger Heard It's absolutely incredible. David got the pepperoni pizza burger, and we are splitting the cake gelato shake. Now, I know what you're saying, Michael, what about your diet? Deluxe gets a pass, so I've been really, really good recently with kind of avoiding some of those sugary drinks, and even at home, too, trying to like make sure I'm eating, you know, items that I want to be eating, like salads and lower calorie items, like celery and all sorts of great things, but this is a very special occasion. Deluxe burger, I had the best shake, I think, ever here before. You know I gotta try it again. Just as we were starting to try some of these sauces, our food arrived. David's got that pepperoni pizza burger. It looks incredible, and I've got the Diablo burger. Also looks amazing. We also have the very special cake shake right here, gelato. It looks really, really good. 
Smells super good, I'm very excited about it, but burgers first, we're gonna split them down the middle so we can both try a little bit of both. And here we are splitting the pepperoni pizza burger. It looks so, so good. Smells amazing, bon appetit. First bite impressions, not bad at all. I feel like there's a tiny bit of flavor missing in there. The cheese is really good. You can taste the cheese, that's good. But I feel like that's what the sauces are for. They actually put the sauces there because I feel like the seasonal one anyway needs a little bit more of that flavor. Just a tiny bit more in my opinion. Pepperoni pizza burger, not bad. I definitely agree with you on that one. Probably could use a little bit more flavor. It is good, it's got some good flavor. I also feel like the center is the best part. So if you want more of that tomato sauce, the kind of deeper cheese, it's in the center. But it could definitely use more flavor. It's a good flavor, but I'd love to see a little bit more of that accentuated in this burger. Now I've tried several of the sauces here from Deluxe Burger. The buffalo ranch really, really is good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip the burger in there and give this a try. That's the difference maker right there. That is the difference maker. You gotta have that sauce with it. You gotta dip every single bite into some of the sauce or even pour the sauce on the inside of the burger. Oh my gosh, the difference maker. So I've tried dipping that pepperoni pizza burger into just about every sauce that they have here at Deluxe. And I gotta tell you, every single one brings out a totally different flavor, as they should, it's a sauce. So it brings out the flavor of that sauce. It's not as much the burger flavor, it's the sauce flavor. So there's something to be said for that. Love the sauces here at Deluxe. But the last burger I had here at Deluxe was much more flavorful. So super excited for El Diablo. And here it is, I've heard so much about it. The El Diablo burger from Deluxe Burger. Could this be a new top five contender for burgers? At Walt Disney World, there's only one way to find out. Bon appetit. The El Diablo Burger, it was okay, it's okay. It's not my favorite. Oh, it doesn't get to top five or even top 10 in my opinion. L lacking a little bit of that flavor, the barbecue, the one we had last time, I can't even remember the name of it. It was so, so much better. So these two were, were good, not outstanding. I would not go out of my way for either of those. The other one I had last time, I'm pretty sure it was the barbecue burger. That one was amazing. I gotta agree with you on this one. It's definitely not top five burgers for me. It's it's okay. It's I feel like honestly, I feel like the last burger had more flavor even. Which is strange to me. Again, it's El Diablo is supposed to be super spicy, I feel like. It's really it just feels like Almost just like a regular burger. So overall in the burgers, they were both okay. Nothing I would go out of my way for on either front right there, but we have split up the milkshake now, and I'm very excited to try it. A brand new flavor, it is the gelato cake flavor. So excited. Cheers, gelato cake milkshake. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I love it. I love it. I don't know how they do it. That is just a mind-blowing milkshake. Deluxe Burger is almost, see this is why, it's for the milkshake, because the milkshake, in my opinion, is so worth it. It is so worth it. The burgers, by comparison, starting to go like, oh, burgers. Milkshake is out of this world, amazing. I'm so excited to hear David's thoughts. You know, I like what you said about coming here for the milkshakes. That's really what you should do. The burgers are okay, but it seems like the milkshake is the clear winner, so definitely gotta try more of those. I feel like maybe it's not the best milkshake I've ever had ever, but I wanna say, you're right, top five at least, in terms of milkshakes at Disney so far. So definitely, if you're looking for a good milkshake option, boom, there it is. Now I know what you're thinking, Michael, where do you rank this cake shake? It is up there. I mean, and when I say up there, I mean sci-fi. Sci-fi milkshake, that, that, that's a high level. That is a very high level of milkshake. Not 100% sure which one I would choose between the two, but oh my gosh. If you're at Disney Springs and you want a milkshake, come to Deluxe first. As I was enjoying this milkshake, I had a crazy idea. A crazy idea. We're looking for the best milkshake at Walt Disney World, right? And I know, you know, you're thinking to yourself, Michael, you're dying, you're dying. I know, I know, I know, I know. I've, I've had half a milkshake. This is half a milkshake, not a full milkshake. I split it with David. So we had one to split between the two of us. What if today we continue the hunt in the same video, in the same vlog, and look for another amazing milkshake. Another incredible milkshake that I can think of right off the bat, Tune In Lounge. Tune In Lounge and Sci-Fi Dining Theater have some of the best milkshakes around as well. Time is now 6.57 p.m. Hollywood Studios closes at eight o'clock. We can definitely make it, but we'd have to leave right now to get that milkshake. I think it's worth it. We're gonna discuss it for about two minutes here and then we're gonna decide what we're gonna do. So we've made the decision. We're making our way back to the car right now. We're gonna rush over to Hollywood Studios and try to do a direct comparison between that cake shake we just had and Tune In Lounge for a different flavor milkshake. Now, David, generally speaking, are cake shakes your favorite? I think that that's probably one of my favorite types of shake, yes. Okay, all right. So for me, it's cookies and cream. Usually is my favorite, so. We'll meet somewhere in the middle for sure. That cake one, I gotta say, is unbelievable. It was unbelievable. And is it seasonal? 
I'm not sure. I, I, don't, think, I th don't think it was. Okay, so not seasonal. It was the burger that was seasonal. Right. And the, and the shake was not. Now, no doubt there is an advantage to having your car at Disney to do things like this, where you can bounce around to the different parks at Disney Springs. But at the same time, sometimes it's an inconvenience, I'll be honest with you, because you go somewhere and you're like, oh, I just uh, forget. I don't want to think about the car. I just want to go off to a park. You have to think about it, it's one extra thought, but sometimes it's convenient, sometimes it's not. 7.25 now and we made it to Hollywood Studios. We've got time to spare. Let's make it to the tune-in lounge and compare, direct comparison to that milkshake at Deluxe Burger. Just took a look at the menu on my phone. They don't serve milkshakes apparently based on this menu. I hope they serve milkshakes in there. I feel really bad if they don't serve milkshakes. At, I, they, they should, right? I mean. Maybe they don't have them on the menu. It's all good. Maybe they have something you just ask for. I heard if they don't have milkshakes, that if you head over to Starbucks, they got some really good water. It's delicious flavor. Fine, fair enough. They don't have milkshakes. But you know, I'm also thinking there's backup plans, like sci-fi. Like water. Sci-fi. Like Please have milkshakes. Please have milkshakes. Please have milkshakes. Next to 50's Primetime Cafe, we've got the Tune-In Lounge. Okay, uh, that's, that's competitive. That sounds better, David. Sure. All right, let's do it. Which, which flavors do you have again? Sure enough, they do have milkshakes at the Tune-In Lounge. Chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, and peanut butter and jelly. We're getting chocolate per David. David's suggestion, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be really good. And they, I've been told they're even better. The bartender told me it's even better than the ones they have at Sci-Fi or 50's. This works, this works. And here it is, the chocolate shake from the Tune-In Lounge. We're gonna split it up and give it a try and do a direct comparison to Deluxe Burger. Overall, I really like that one. A very thick chocolate shake. David, what do you think? It's it's not bad. Definitely a pretty good shake in terms of some of the options we've had here. I really like it. I'm thinking about peanut butter and jelly next time as well. The cookies and cream, I love that from Deluxe Burger. Comparing the two, I'm gonna give it to the cake one today for Deluxe Burger. There are other ones to try, no doubt about it. No doubt about it. But today, I'm gonna give it to Deluxe Burger on that cake one. David, your thoughts? Totally agree with you. 10 minutes left in operating hours today. We're making our way towards Toy Story Land, and perhaps we'll be able to get on Toy Story Midway Mania, perhaps. I wanna make another mention towards straws at Disney. Even the milkshake straws, the bigger ones, they're falling apart seconds, seconds after I tried them. Can't make it through the whole thing without the whole thing falling apart on me, so more substantial straws needed all around. I can almost not use it anymore. Look at it. Oh, it, oh come on. No, come on. New Disney movie posters have appeared. We've got Call of the Wild and Onward right there behind me. Time is now 7.56, and the wait time for Toy Story Midway Mania just switched over to 15 minutes, so that's where we're headed with just a few minutes left in the park. All right, gang, I want to hear you shout, I love you, Mr. Potato Head. I love you, Mr. Potato Head. And here we go. 293,200. Here we got 291. Nice. Wow. There it is, best this hour. 293,200. David and I have never been closer in our scores before. Awesome run on Toy Story Midway Mania. David and I were within 5,000 points of each other. It was super, super intense, close. We're making our way out now. It is well past the closing here at uh, Hollywood Studios and Toy Story Land. So. We're on our way. Time is now 8.36, so we're definitely basically by ourselves in the park as we make our way out. Always a unique view as we leave 8.37 at night with extremely few crowds. I mean, it makes sense. Park's closed for 37 minutes. Makes sense. And here's that entrance to the new barbecue restaurant that'll be coming very, very soon. I'm super excited about this one. The theming inside, I have a feeling, is gonna be unlike any we've ever experienced before. But when it comes to dining theming, Space 220 still has my the highest attention right now. Space 220 is on my mind. And here it is, that larger than life sign for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is up. It's amazing to see, it's all gonna be lit up as soon as it opens, and believe it or not, I got a fast pass. I got a fast pass for the attraction, but it's not opening morning, it's opening afternoon. So what'll happen is I'll be here opening day, and then in the afternoon, I'll come back and maybe ride again with the fast pass. But fast passes, they went really, really quick, but I'm super excited about it. This could be a game changer. Right back there, Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway, a game changer, it could be, we don't know, but I'm so excited about it. For Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway, I'm thinking three o'clock in the morning we'll be here for the opening. It's gonna be one of those moments that we just unforgettable. I love opening days, by the way. Opening days are just, they're full of energy, so full of energy. Now, I heard a rumor that the slap bracelets have finally returned, and before we leave for the night, take a look around the shopping area, and look, it's pretty crowded, still a lot of people here. No slap magic bands over here, here, I'm gonna go across the way to the dark room where they have more of those magic bands. Maybe they'll have them here. I see a wall of magic bands here. Not one of them looks like a slap magic band to me. I had to look carefully, but I found it. Finally, finally. Figment slap magic band right there. Take a look at that. 
I'm pretty sure I'm gonna buy this and I'm going to demonstrate how it works. It's really, really cool and I like it a lot, especially the design with Figment. The, the Figment is the best part. The only thing I'm thinking about though is the fact that the puck is kind of raised there and there's this, there's a very small piece of silicon rubber right there holding it to the slap bracelet. As compared to the standard Magic Bands, the ones that are, you know, with the special designs like this one for Slinky Dog, it, it no matter how I, you know, kind of brush up against something or accidentally, you know, you know, hand touches a railing, you know, the wrong way, nothing's gonna be kind of cut off from the front here. I worry a little bit about this figment coming off from the front. So I'm hesitating. I'm, I'm gonna sleep on this decision for a little bit. It's it's that small piece of silicon right there that kind of, it, it's raised. So if I if I go like this, like accidentally against kind of a wall there, whatever it is, this is not, this is not going anywhere. See how it's flat against my body? This, I worry about that so, so much. So I'm gonna put it down for now, give it a couple nights to sleep on it, think on it, and then we'll come back to this. We'll come back to this decision. It's a great idea. I love the idea of a slap band magic band. It's just that that one, I don't know, it's just it, it, something in my brain is saying, wait. So I'm gonna trust my brain for a little bit here, but we'll see. I, I'm, the figment though, you know I love figment. I'm so worried that it'll be gone so fast, but I'm, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. I'm not the last one in the park, by the way. I should mention, I am not the last one here. The store's closing soon, so I, I do have to make a decision about this. I know I'm coming back and forth, but you see, you see what I'm talking about there? See? It's just like, it, it, I don't know. Ah, I, I just, I'm worried about that, but this could be like the one and only, and then like it doesn't appear ever again, and this is the only one that's ever sold, and I, I guess that's how I'm gonna think about it. If, if I don't get it, and we never see another one again, yeah, that, that doesn't feel too good, does it? So I found a small box of slap bracelets here, and I, I tried one on, there's a stitch one. Right there, looks good, feels good, but compared to the feel from our, I, I like this feel better with the, with the standard pegs in it. So this, I think, is gonna cause it for me to say no at the moment. But, you know, maybe one day I'll change my mind. Maybe, maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but perhaps one day. Not the last ones out of the park at all, which is always a good feeling. We're not holding up those cast members. It's a good thing. I really want to respect their time. So we're making our way out now. Thanks for joining us on today's adventure, comparing milkshakes. And I think we should do something like that again one day. Not, not all the time. Got to be watching, you know, the calorie intake and all that. But together, we both had one milkshake today. Half of two, so one milkshake today. We'll definitely do more, more fun food items in the future. Thanks so much for joining us on today's adventure. It was a lot of fun sharing it all with you. Until next time. Have a magical day. And see you real soon.